This is going to be a quick video showing you how to paint your vehicle for underneath $200. That thing has 300,000 miles, so we're going to be using tractor paint for the most of it, and then Clark's automotive paint for the bottom half. As you can see, I already went through, did some body work, painted it once, but had a lot of runs. So, uh, sitting down all the runs, what works really good for that is just a gray scotch pad. After wanting to do this, all this paint and stuff here probably costs only about a hundred bucks, including you know paint, and, uh, tape, and other masking and whatnot. Went through and taped off all the window sills. This plastic works a lot better than paper. It's just easier to work with and kind of cheaper and easier to cut too. Just gotta make sure you spend you know decent money on. Decent tape, some of that cheaper stuff will bleed through or start to peel off. So the most important thing is knowing how to mix it. So if you come here to your can, it's going to give you your different ratios. First time I did this, I had no idea what any of this stuff meant. There wasn't really a good video explaining it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. So it's doing a whole vehicle. We're going to pretty much use this whole quart. What works good is a... Uh, Four to one, that's four parts of your paint, one part of your thinner. Now this tractor enamel paint, they want you to use this VMP and naphtha. You might be able to use paint thinner, but uh, it's what's recommended by the can. It's actually cheaper too, it's only eight bucks for that whole thing. So once you get your paint all mixed up, we're going to fill the whole thing up to this three right here. Alright, I'll fill it with the thinner. In your first few coats, you're just going to do the paint and the thinner. On the last coat, we're going to use a hardener and catalyst. Now you want to make sure you don't buy the hardener accelerator. Uh, it'll just dry too fast. So come back here on the 4 to 1. You can see we're at the 3 right now. Now we're going to fill the rest of it up to this 3. perfect we'll go ahead and mix this up real quick got the paint all mixed up now we're gonna put in our gun i like this husky gun it's only about 70 bucks but you want to make sure you got a pressure regulator and a filter on the gun itself and then you bleed the condensation from your compressor each time if not you don't get full of water or whatnot we went ahead and filled up about halfway that works better because you got a vent on top of it so sometimes you're moving the gun it'll kind of spray all over the place you tip it too much. Now something like this where my start is on the top. Start in the back probably work away towards the front. And that way once you do it towards the front it will give you a nice gloss. It won't give you too much orange peel and whatnot. Alright so I went through this end up giving the whole thing one good light coat. It's important you don't go real heavy on this. I'm going to tell you why. If you do, stuff will run like crazy. Or even just one real light coat. The idea of that is just so that it can stick to stick on your next coat. Hopefully not sag or run or nothing. Then now for the final coat, we're going to add some hardener to the paint. And it's really easy to do. What we're gonna do is go back here and spill on different charts. It's gonna say four to one to one. We have four parts paint, one part thinner, and one part hardener. So we're gonna fill this back up to the three with our paint.
gonna open another can. Fill it up to the through on there, and I put a thinner in there. Like I said, a clear hardener catalyst. Now with this, we're gonna go all the way up to this last three here. That's about it, probably about two of these. Mix it up, get that again. Another thing too, if you got bad eyesight or not good lighting, even on top of a gazillion lights, on the bottom here when you're trying to follow that wet line, it's really hard, at least for me, I can have bad eyesight. Well, if you get a tripod, I bought this here, 20 bucks, didn't come with a light. So this amount of light on there, it really helps you fall at edge and keep you from getting too many runs with that. That's probably the hardest part, is make sure you get that wet line. And that wet line is what's gonna make sure that uh, you get that nice gloss finish. See it turn out pretty good. Then once you paint something like this, it's gonna look kind of bubbly and stuff. But once it flashes off and about like 24 hours, it cures all the way. A lot of that will go away. There is some orange peel. They're gonna have that. And there's one run here you can kind of see. That's probably just from going back and forth in that same spot right there. Then I didn't want to buff it or anything, we just gonna have to now. But for less than 200 bucks, you have to work car or truck or whatever. You know, you really can't beat this paint job. You're just seeing 300,000 miles and a lot of bondo and rot. That's it. Like, comment, subscribe. If you got any questions, leave a comment. Part two, we're going to probably do a nice charcoal gray stripe right here. That Clark's automotive paint off eBay.